good morning welcome to yet another glorious day the day that the lord has made let us exceedingly be glad in it is a wonderful day and the day are the works of our mighty god the ever-present god in time of need the Holy One of Israel, the true God, the great ocean divider, the Ayan that I am, the God that was, the God that is, is, and the God that will still come, the God that is ancient, the God that is present, the God that is also the future. This morning, by the grace of God, I am here to share a daily exhortation with you. My name is Joshua Osatoame, and I'm here to share this morning exhortation with you. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for your great work. How you disappoint the enemy during the night. This morning we are strong, healed and head. Glory be to God. Even as we, your children, hear your word, bless our hearts, bless our soul. Make us to know wisdom. Make us to know your way. Lead us in the path that will bring about change in our life. Let us go closer to you and serve you. And give us victory on everything we partake on today. On every good work that we involve ourselves in today. Bless us, transform us, and make us just like you. In Jesus' perfect name, we pray. Amen. This morning, we are looking at the topic titled, Jesus Took Our Judgment. Jesus Took Our Judgment. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he has made him to be seen for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the judgment of God in heaven? 2 Corinthians 5.21 There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verse 1 The Bible says the judgment for sin that I deserve is already past. Jesus took my judgment on the cross. Every demand of the law has been met. The law was completely satisfied in the offering that Christ made of himself for sin. The Lord lay on him the iniquity of us all, Isaiah 3 verse 6, who his own self bare our sins in his own body on the tree, 1 Peter 2 24. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sin forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrews 10, 12. The law has said the wages of sin is death. Romans 6, 23. And the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel 18, 4. I deserve judgment and hell. But Christ took that judgment and hell for me. Christ himself said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me as everlasting life. He shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. John 5 24. No statement could be any plainer than the true believer in Christ Jesus shall come into judgment. The judgment that judgment is passed. 
For thou hast cast all my sins behind my back. Isaiah 38, 17. God said through Jeremiah the prophet, I will remember their sin no more. Jeremiah 31, 34. We shall never understand the essence of God's love in Christ at the cross until we understand that that we shall never have to stand before the judgment of God for our sin. Christ took our sin. He finished the work of redemption. I am not safe through any work or merit of my own. I have preached to thousands of people. I have preached to thousands of people, but I shall not go to heaven because I shall not go to heaven because I am a preacher. I am going to heaven entirely on the merit, merit of the work of God. I shall not stand as God's judgment bar that it's all past. A friend or a pastor once said while he was crossing the North Atlantic many years ago, he said he looked at the pot oh, when I got up, when he got up in the morning, I saw one of the blackest cloud he had ever seen. He was certain that he was in for a terrible storm. He ordered for breakfast, sent to his room and spoke to the steward about the storm. He said, Oh, we have already come through that storm. It is behind us. If we are believers in Jesus Christ, we have already come through the storm of judgment. It happened at the cross. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, I am completely humble by the thought of Christ dying for me. I glimpse your grace and forgiveness from my heart. With tears of gratitude, your overwhelming love is the more than I can comprehend. Thank you, Father, for the blessed gift of life eternal through Jesus Christ my Lord Amen May the Lord bless this word in our hearts in Jesus name Amen Stay blessed and stay focused